writing a reflection is not easy. However, my students, I believe in you. So let me walk through what these students did well and where they can improve. I happen to choose three girls, but you know my boys, you're awesome too. What this student did well, number one, I have goals and I have written down current grades. I also have a comment that I have responded to. Going to page two, I see the work. Not only that, if I wanted to open it, I could, and I do. I read all of them. Now I have my reflection to read. Look at it. I have capital letters. I have clear sentences. I have details. I have a few mistakes on capitalization, like Adventures Affinity Wars. It's a name. Capitalize it. What I don't have is a grade. So once a student reads my comments and fixes everything that I suggest, that student's going to come back and change this to yellow. So I'll look at it again, but good job so far. This student also did that check. English, history, goals, gave me a comment. I responded. I come down here and if I wanted to get to the work, I could. I have the reflection. Notice how it looks a little bit different. You see these numbers? If you need the numbers to write the reflection, go for it, but remove them later. I am going to tell you that I see some capitalization mistakes like the letter, the pronoun I should always be capitalized. And yes, I do want to give students compliments. You're fabulous, my girl. Look, we have a suggested grade. Thank you for giving yourself a high grade. If you go back and you do as I ask, then I can agree to this and what I need you to do after you made the revisions and hopefully finish that avatar. I would like you to change this to yellow. So I will look at it because how else am I going to know? Now this student noticed the difference. No one got the avatar done. I got you. But look at this reflection. Look how detailed it is. I see very few, if any, errors in capitalization or in sentence structure. And when this girl says she deserves a 93%, oh, I agree. We will be doing reflections every two weeks and you are expected to do them in class. What you don't finish, you will do after school. I can help you or you have to do it at home. This is not an easy task but it will help you grow as a learner. Until next time.